feeling fancy and I like it. Hi, hello, welcome back. This is the first time that I've done one of these videos, so I'm excited to share a little roundup of dresses that I got in recently that I think could be perfect for some end of spring and summer weddings that maybe you have coming up. I know that dress codes for weddings can change drastically from literal wedding to wedding, just depending on the event. Uh, but hopefully within this roundup, there are some options for you for the next one that you have to go to. Everything is from Petal and Pup, who I love. They have really, really cute pieces um, and they have fast shipping times and I just always love the quality. So I, of course, will have everything linked down below if you see anything that you like or wanna do some shopping, but let's go ahead and just jump right in. This first piece is a stunner. It's this flowy little floral piece. It has a lot of gorgeous details. I really like the length too. It's double lined, but it's really breathable which I like. So this would be a good summer dress for a hot day because I know that's going to be coming up here soon. I love the little ruffling detail around the front. I don't even know if you all can tell because of my tan, but it has some um, slight little cutouts or like skin showing right here on the sides and the back is to die for. Um, it's really pretty and it's open and I love the balance of this personally because I do feel like the front looks like a little bit more modest, but the back is like a party. So I love that. There is a zipper here to get it on and off. I got a size two, but honestly, I could have done a zero. I have a little bit of room here. It fits fine, but um, I definitely could have done a zero and like had this part be a little tighter. It's not bra friendly because it is open in the back and you're tying it here, um, but it's double lined. So I feel very secure and I just think this dress is gorgeous. I feel like with the back being open how it is, I personally really like this styled with your hair up. So I just did a high like sleek pony and some big gold hoops. Um, but I think also like a low bun would be really gorgeous or maybe even like some other variation of pony. But this dress is really pretty. If you can't tell, it's like obviously green because of the floral, pink, yellow, and then the body of the dress is white, which I know some people do go back and forth on, on if this is appropriate to wear to a wedding personally. I've gotten married already. If someone had worn this to mine, I would have been fine with it. I think obviously the majority of the dress is green, pink, and yellow. Um, but just wanted to call that out because I know some people get super, I don't even know the word, but people get some type of way when it comes to wedding dress attire. So don't take anything that I share to literally, this is my interpretation. Oh my God, I love this dress a million times more than I could have imagined. Now I know a lot of you are going to look at me and say, hi, hello, it's white. And I know that. However, I'm still showing it to you because this dress comes in a ton of other colors. So if you like this look and like the style of it overall, um, there's some different color options that you could definitely go with. Um, however, I do feel like it's becoming more and more common for people to do all white themes. Um, for example, I just got an invite for an event that I'm going to. It's not a wedding, but it's a bridal shower and it's all white. So I'm glad I got this because I will likely be wearing this. I think it's so beautiful. Um, but I was super hesitant on the fit because nothing is adjustable on this dress. So I wasn't sure like how it would all work out. Cause sometimes that doesn't always go well for me, but it fits like a dream. I got a size zero, it's perfect. It's like a light sort of linen-y material, but it's like nice quality. It doesn't look like beachy linen or like casual linen, if that makes sense. Like it looks like a super chic, elegant dress. And I love this little detail here in the front. It kind of twists right here, has this little opening, um, but overall you don't have too much showing. And I just feel like it's a really, really nice balance. Um, if I didn't mention, I'm wearing a size zero, which the sizing again is great. So I'm really happy that I went with this size and it is double lined, which is nice. If you all can see, I have on gray underwear, so definitely would need to go with a nude or a white, preferably a nude, um, and then you'll be good, good to go. And personally, I don't think this dress is bra friendly. I'm not wearing a bra, and I think the coverage and everything is divine. I think it's so nice, and I feel super comfy. Um, so 
The back is pretty plain. There's a zipper in the back to get it on and off and otherwise it's just simple. The front does all the talking on this one, but I love it with the high sleek pony. I'm thinking honestly, I'll probably keep the pony for the remainder of this video, but we shall see. Um, gold jewelry, statement earrings, and then same shoes as before. I kind of really like it with like my clear heels. I just think it keeps it really simple, uh, but obviously depending on the color of the dress that you picked out um, from the options that they have, you could go with maybe a fun colored heel or a neutral like strappy. This next one is a piece, a set that I wouldn't typically go for. However, I do like it and you guys know sometimes I like to branch out of my comfort zone. So it's a two piece set and I'll be honest, I have the bottom of this crop top tucked into the uh, bottom of my bra because I needed a little skin out, which I know some people might disagree with because some people, like I mentioned, are just particular about wedding guest attire and think things need to be super modest. Um, that is just not flattering on me. Uh, it's just too much floral and the skirt is a maxi, so I just needed a little balance. I think obviously if you're taller, this would look amazing on you. I'm 5'2", so it is a little bit much. Again, I think it's super pretty, but I had something had to give somewhere. So it was the crop top and I just tucked it and now we have a little bit more skin and I'm happy with that. Most of the time people don't think of or consider a two piece set as an option to wear to a wedding. But I think depending on the venue and the dress code that something like this could definitely work, especially during summer. Um, I do like that the skirt is basically a maxi skirt. Um, it comes down pretty far, at least on me, to my ankles. And the print is really pretty. There is some white in there, but it's blue and pink overall. It could also be cute for a gender reveal. Um, and I love the puff sleeves. It's just very springy, very summery. Uh, and the best part is the skirt has pockets. So I do love that. But this is the full fit. It's very girly, very pretty chic. And yeah, same sort of shoes. I don't feel like because of where the bottom of the skirt hits me that it makes sense to do like a strappy shoe. I think it would cut my leg off and make me look even shorter, which I don't want. Next, we have this little satiny, silky, pink midi dress. I've actually had this for quite a long time and they always keep this in stock in multiple colors. I think it is so pretty. Just a really easy, simple dress to grab, especially if you're like in a pinch or not sure what to wear. I feel like this is a safe bet. Um, I believe I have a size two on. I'll double check. I do wish that the section right here was a little bit tighter on me. Um, this particular dress doesn't have any zippers or anything. It's just as is. So you just kind of slip it on. Um, but I love it. I just wouldn't mind it being a little bit more fitted through the body. So it's spaghetti strap with adjustable straps, has this little like cow neck detail, has this little like side, what do we call this? Ruching? I don't really know. Detail um, and then like a tulip hem down here, which is kind of pretty. Um, and then great length. It hits me right at like my knee-ish area. And then as you all can probably see, it's a little bit longer in the back, which I think is pretty. So yeah, not a lot to this one, just really simple. It's just a great dress to have in your closet. I feel like could work for a lot of different occasions. And like I mentioned, comes in a ton of colors. This is another one that quite honestly, I feel like a million bucks in. I just feel so pretty. And this dress is really simple, but it just it does it. It does it for me and I'm into this. Um, I know technically black is not like, you know, a springy or summery color, but it's a neutral. It's an essential and I feel like when in doubt, wear black. Um, so this dress is really, like I mentioned, just simple, but it's pretty. It has this dainty little one shoulder detail and then otherwise it's just pretty plain, silky, satiny little midi dress. Um, it has some like, I don't even know, detail happening over here, um, which I think is cute, but it's super subtle. And then the back is gorgeous. I think it's just really well fitted in my humble opinion. So it has a zipper to get on and off. Um, the one side strap is adjustable if you need that. And then it does have, I don't know if you can see it, but it does have a little slit down here 
at the bottom. So sometimes I feel like there's nothing wrong with keeping it simple and I feel like a little black dress like this just looks really elegant and classic and depending on the dress code, that's exactly what you need. Um, as always, not as always, but I feel like this is a common theme. This dress does come in other color options. So if you like it, but maybe you want something that is a little bit more with the season, um, they do have some other color choices as well. And I don't even know if I mentioned this, I'm wearing a size zero. I think the fit is perfection. Um, I wouldn't have sized up at all. A zero is perfect. I'm well aware that this next one is gonna be up for interpretation and that is fine. However, I encourage everyone to open their minds because more and more people are having beach weddings and more and more people are having just more casual, events in general. Um, so I got this dress. I think it's stunning. I think it could be super perfect for a beach wedding. My friend got married at the beach last year. It was a super intimate, um, ceremony and reception right on the beach. And my friend and I, and the other bridesmaids in the parties, a lot of us wore similar dresses in this sort of material and style and in this like pretty neutral brown color. So I think it could work. Um, it's a halter top, which I love. It has a cinch detail here. Um, it's open on the sides and in the back, which I'll show you, but it still is bra friendly, which I like. And it's a midi length. Um, because it's a rib material, it is so comfortable. I can't remember if I got a two or a zero in this. So again, I'll double check and I'll put it down in the description, but whatever size I got, is absolutely perfect. I wouldn't have sized up or down at all. So I really like the fit, but let me show you the back. So this is what the back looks like. So this top piece right here is definitely thick enough to have a bra under here, which you guys know me, I like. Um, and then yeah, you have a little bit of skin showing and this top is open because it's a halter, but otherwise, the rest of you is covered because it's a midi. I definitely need to put on seamless underwear. I don't have that on currently, but that would be ideal for this dress. I think this dress is so pretty. Again, I know there's probably gonna be people who are like, that is not wedding appropriate and that should never be worn to a wedding, but there's different events, there's different occasions. So I think, I think it is a possibility. If you are one of those people who think you would never wear this to a wedding, that's fine, but this dress is still stunning, so I would recommend it for your next vacation. And last but not least, like not least at all, is another little stunning number that is definitely a winner for me. This is like top three, one of my favorites. I should have steamed it, so don't cut for me, I am sorry. Um, but I feel like a summery little goddess in this dress First of all, love the color. The green is so freaking beautiful. I love the tone of it. I love the color. I love that this is strapless and it has some pretty detailing here, a little keyhole detail. Um, and then the length I think is actually so gorgeous. The material is like a light flowy um, linen material. I will say it's a tad scratchy. Like it's not super uncomfortable, but I just wanna point it out because someone may not like that. Um, but this dress is just beyond gorgeous. It's bra friendly. Uh, I need to situate this part a little bit better because you might be able to see mine here. I'm wearing a size two. I think for it to be like extra perfect in the top here, I probably would need a zero. Um, but otherwise, like the dress fits really, really well. It has a zipper in the back to get it on and off and it's smocked back here too, which I like. Um, but otherwise pretty simple, no other like big details, kind of the top does it all, but I love the style of this. I honestly didn't have anything like it in my closet, which I feel like is a little surprising, but I'm so glad I picked this up. I think it is so beautiful. It does come in multiple other colors. So if you're not a fan of the green, you can pick up something else, but yeah, I, can't wait to wear this out in real life, outside of my room here, because I just feel so fabulous in this. All right, you guys, so that is going to wrap up and conclude today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you enjoyed seeing what I consider to be summer wedding guest dresses. Um, as I mentioned a million times throughout this video, I'll link everything down below, but let me know if you have any questions on the fits of any of them and let me know which one was your favorite. And if you want to see more of these types of videos, um, 
for like weddings or any other sort of events. But love you guys so, so much. Thank you for tuning back in and watching. And until next time. I know we're acting stupid.